Good morning. I'm asking for your help with our enrollment challenge. After several years of sustained growth, this fall, we drop precipitously to 82% of where we were last year as of the last count yesterday. Now I understand that we're talking about enrollment declines in the middle of a once in a lifetime pandemic. And I understand that the challenges our students face to balance work, family, and studies is significant. The balance many of you all are facing is significant. But we have a challenge that is also looming on the horizon, sort of like the thundercloud that's out there and you don't think it's gonna get here and eventually it does. As I've said many times publicly, the end of the whole harmless period, i.e. the time in which our establishment of a stable budget ends and the full implementation of the student-centered funding formula begins is July 1st, 2023. In order for us to make sure that we're in good shape by then, we need as a district to get our enrollment back up to about 107,000 FTEs, and we're projecting we'll be at 98,000 FTEs by the end of this year. Therefore, every enrollment counts because if we don't get that three-year average up, then the entire district is rebased. Rebased meaning that our, our base budget is decreased. And right now the estimate is about $40 million across the district of which West would be about eight or 9% of that. So the enrollment challenge is not only this fall, the enrollment challenge is larger down the road. Now, I will admit that we stumbled along the way. Strategically, there are some things that we in retrospect should have done we didn't i don't think we got started as quickly as we could have i think to be honest i counted on the excellence of our faculty and the excellence of our distance ed program to carry the day but that market advantage to be honest is gone we are now one of 114 schools in the state that are doing uh, good online programs so we are at a college level working on an aggressive marketing and social media campaign we're looking at our processes and identifying things as simple as how documents are worded on our website to how our processes work so that the students might it easier to get here um, to help keep you all aware we're implementing uh, our continuing weekly town halls uh, with one today where we'll keep you updated on the enrollment status. Those are issues at a macro level. What's most important right now though in this COVID environment is the personal touch and this is where I'm asking for your help. If you'll recall, on my first day of campus, for those of you who were there at the reception, almost four years ago, October 1st, 2016, I talked about the moment of truth. I talked about the fact that for many students, the next exchange they have with a member of the faculty or the staff could very well be the deciding point if, they, if that student says, I want to stay at West or I'm out of here. And I'm asking that you all remember that now because right now personal communication is the most important tool that we have to make sure our students know that they are respected, they are cared for, they are welcome, and that we are committed to their education. I want to thank, for example, all of the employees who have stepped up to volunteer to make phone calls, all of the frontline people who have been handling the work through Cranium Cafe, all the counselors who've been doing work online, all the faculty who have shifted to this online environment. These are important steps. But now what we've got to do is go that extra step and make sure that every exchange we have with students is one in which they feel that we are truly looking out for their best interests and we want them to be here. So this is very much a campus-wide effort and anything that you all could do within your scope of, of authority, within your scope of influence, would be appreciated by all of us because we have the capability as a campus to turn this around.
I believe we can do it, but believes all of us, it means all of us doing what we can within our areas where we can make a difference. I further encourage you to stay abreast of all this. I've talked about the fact we have a budget challenge, so please come to the town halls, come to the public budget committee meetings, come to academic senate, come to college council, where very important topics about the campus are discussed. It's, it's very important that you understand what's going on and how, as a campus, as we deal with enrollment challenges, for example, we are also going to be dealing with some significant budget challenges. And your input, your awareness, your thoughts, your comments are vitally important to help us move through this particularly challenging time in the college's history. But we can also make this an opportunity for growth, an opportunity for creativity, an opportunity to emphasize the transparency of our operations because the capability of ins this institution is truly limitless. And right now, I, I want us all to be able to work together and show that West is truly um, a committed community of educators committed our students, and committed to each other. So thank you all very much. You're welcome to email, call if you have any questions, either to me personally, to your vice presidents, to your supervisors, or through the town halls. I'd like to hear from you, and, and I'd like to hear your ideas. Thank you all very much, and let's do this together.